Hello and welcome back to Spyro 2 with yours true Lord Zinder the map. Apparently we are in a brand new place, a little bit frozen over. Nothing a little melting point help. Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. That is an urgent matter. Oh, I didn't mean to burn the flag. I'm glad you are having hearts. Hearts are good for you. Is there anything in here that I really need to look out for? Nope. Okay, good. In that case, we will just uh, do the business. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. Doesn't really look much like a catapult. Can you imagine being the mate of a dragon? None of that. Like, please no snowball. I'm a dragon. I'm weak to bananas and snowballs. That's another thing I don't I have to not tell my players. Should they face a dragon in D&D? &D. Look at these snowballs. They will survive. Oh my god. They're so smooth. Their eyeballs look so disturbing since they are essentially of the same material. Oh. I'm a dumb. Okay, let's unfreeze everyone here. And get them to make me something nice, like a stackers. Unfortunately, they will become a staircase. That is their life now. It is now the sworn duty to assist me, Spyro, the dragon, in climbing up from here. Ooh, a safe point. What are you? That, that was an... That was a knife head dog! Are these all the creations of the snowy things around? Also, what's what's going on down there? Also, they just appear as innocent little uh, Icicles until I walk close enough to them until at which case they will reveal their true nature Which is a snow doggo Which usually would not be a problem because snow is cute and dogs are cute So clearly snow dogs would also be cute, uh, but they have been uh, mistreated by their masters and as such are aggressive to uh, dragons well, they haven't been trained by the masters not to be polite to strangers, I guess. Sure, build me a bridge. Now I can buy that condo in Harakos I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. There's a condo? In Okay, remember this bridge. Uh, as soon as soon as it opens its mouth, I remember that bridge. It's like me. I'm easy to forget, but as soon as I open my mouth, everyone's like, oh, it's that idiot. That's a joke. It's a joke. Most people do not immediately greet me as an idiot. Unfortunately. But that's their loss. Okay, let's save more people. No, I'm here to rescue your all. Well, that's not true. I'm here to melt some of you. I think I'm melt here to melt all of them, to be fair. You get molten, you get molten, you get molten lava. You get molten, you don't get molten. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second and look out below. Oh, I see what they're planning. That's a leap! 10 foot vertical leap, here we go! Ah, 
This is the sort of people that McElroy brothers would have hired. You'd think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head. Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. You did what? But where are the hockey tickets? Where are the hockey tickets? Where are the hockey tickets? We need the hockey tickets, they're important. We need them. Ah, oh, fine. I guess I'll be fine without them, but hey, guys, uh, hockey night is cancelled. Oh, and they don't react at all to me trying to hurt them. That's a shame. I remember in the past games, like, they used to hop up when I fired them. Like, friendlies reacted to friendly fire, it just they didn't dive to it. And they didn't, you know, turn unfriendly for it. It's also quite beneficial. Ooh, there's someone over there that has an orb for sale. Orb. For trade. In exchange for menial labor, I guess. I'll be right back with you. Uh, there's some gems here that I need to gather. Why are there different colors of goo? <gasps> it's a doggo! Hey puppy! Well, I'm not gonna chase the puppy right now. I think that I need to... I should talk to the person first. Right? I mean, I shouldn't hurt it. It's a kitty cat! I remember now. We should feed the kitty cat. Nice. Okay, but I will go talk first. Hey, what's up? I lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing and when I turned around, he was gone! I hope George didn't get eaten by the Draclids. Yeah, I'll bring him back. Just needs uh, he needs a little food in his belly. And then he'll be happy again. Do you think Hunter would feel weird about looking at George? Would George with... Would George uh, be at Hunter out? That's a legitimate question. Come with me. Come on, George. Let's go back to the fisherman, whose name I read and immediately forgot. Because I was thinking of your name, George. Because, George, you're a very important snow leopard. I'm gonna name my snow leopard in Plant Zoo after you. He's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. Now all I have with me is this round, shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. Nice. I love orbs. They are so full of sin. Okay. Well, we got that. That's good. Got that handled. Oh no! I ran through the snowball. What are these guys? Are these... Are these like those uh, creatures that can survive in space and all that? And in the highest and lowest of temperatures? You know what I'm talking about, right? Those uh, tiny bears. Water bears. Whatever I think was the name. Okay, feel like I need uh, to be able to fly before I continue on in that direction. Oh, and apparently I need to be able to fly to make sure they do not respawn immediately. So it's supposed to be like a lap time challenge sort of thing. Yeah, there's, there's a dude here. 
Hey. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they're infested with multiplying draclids. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. You think you can get rid of them for us? Sure. Great. But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. So these are draclids. Okay. So they're not water bears. They're instead uh, some other no good sort of bugs. Well, I'll have to do a little bit of uh, the first round lap again because reasons, including but not limited to the fact that I missed one. But supposedly they this start uh, doing things again if fun life lives. Yeah. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. Thank you for the orb. I love orbs. Put it put it in my pocket. All orbs collected. Excellent. And as far as I can tell this is the last of the gems. But I might be wrong. I seem to be wrong. I, I am still missing 10. 10 gems. Which I have a suspicion about. But I'm not certain. Can I just fly back up there? No. Okay, so I need to use this. Very little bit. Because I know I heard. I heard a bottle around here somewhere. I don't think I ever actually saw it land. Just have a recollection of hearing a bottle of gems moving about. Okay, we are back at the beginning. The first tile had no nothing at all, and I oh, nearly mistook this for nothing at all as well, and which could have ended in Spyro's demise. Poor Spyro. Subject to the fates of my in inability to play games. Yes, that's the one. Hmm. Pretty sure I heard a bottle around here somewhere. I may be wrong, maybe it's across the bridge. Or closer to Valhalla. Maybe. Okay, well, I got to keep my eyes open, see if we can find that yellow gem. It might be here. It might be two purples instead. Seems like it. Excellent! We did this in a relatively tiny manner, so let's get out of here. Job's done! Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's a good part of spirit. I like it. 1943. Now, I wasn't even alive that year, but I knew it was a bloody fucking disgusting year, wasn't it? Okay, uh, and now off to <gasps> Skillers Badlands! Do they still have uh, Tina Turner music? They better still have Dina Turner music. Like, what's the point of playing Spyro? Spyro 2 specifically, if you don't get uh, Tina Turner music. So I might completely remember what the music was. Now that's a good design I don't remember. Garfield, how could you? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Dragon. I hear you were pretty tough. I bet my cousin Glug, you wouldn't be able to make it through the Badlands without getting sinned. Did you know? Is that a challenge? 
Get Pet Quartet and all cacti, but... Then there's no challenge about not getting burnt. Which is honestly fine. How you doing, little baby? Little puppy. Go home where it's safe. There's, uh... Cat bats around. Oh right, all cacti is a challenge. So that's... That's something to keep an eye open for. Okay, well I'm not going through the gate yet. Let's go look this way first. Oh, that... Obviously does not work. Why did I expect to be able to flame a fire monster? Right, I'm supposed to be able to use these against them, right? Be like, yeah, I'm a range combatant. Check this out. Oh god, that's a range. On oh, that range combatant thing. Oh, hello. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Luckily for me, them exploding into random stuff. Oh, dust deal damage. I was wrong. Now this is a tunnel I remember on the other side of this should be Dina Turner music. Assuming they got a license for it this time. Oh, hello. This needs some other book, right? Hey, how are you doing? is being overrun by lava lizards. Can you get rid of them before they eat my little buddies? I'll lower the bridge for you so you can get over there. Absolutely. Don't they seem competent? Where's the next one? Put you up here? One opened here. This one opened up as well. Okay, here one more. It's way the fuck over there and it's going for the baby! No! No babies. Grasshopper, take this shiny thing we found to aid your journey. Thank you. Looks like more lizard eggs are dropping down. Are you ready for another challenge? Aye, aye. Okay, so it might, it might be smarter for me to actually like pay attention to which egg is opening. Before I run off chasing after them. Yeah, there we go. I hear, heard another one over here. And I heard something more over in this direction. Oh no! That's a baby! You ate the baby! That's rude. Let's try this again. Look at these. These two hatched up. I think one hatched off up in this direction, which gives me just enough time to go after this one. Thank you for helping us again, Spyro. You deserve another shiny thing. I was going to use it as a nightlight. Thank you. I love shiny things. Shiny things make the world go round. Make the world go round. Make the world go round. Who are you and what are you doing over there? Like, what? I'm gonna take your bone. Oh right, now I remember what you are! You need that bone! To get the Tina Turner music! Yes! What's it Tina Turner music? I don't know, I was a child! God damn it! I missed! Okay, let's come here again, and... No? Okay. 
Not like that. Oh no, there's a missile over there, but how do I get up there again? Was it a long way around? It was a long way around, wasn't it? But we still have more bones to find. Some would say we have more bones to pick. And that is that. But yeah, we have bones to pick up. So we can uh, proceed on our merry adventure. Hey, Fire Mage, could you chill for a moment? Do you die to fire? Yeah, you die to explosive damage, not explosive. Projectile. Sir, I need your bone. Thank you. Okay, see, these are not the cacti I'm looking for. Uh, or is that just a Jedi mind trick? I don't know. Uh, was this a flight or was this an invulnerability? Who remembers? Bounce! Okay, let's take another look around. There's a bone boy over there. Do I have to smash your gate first? Yeah, I do. Stop looking at me, Garfield. I did not bring any lasagna. I'm sorry, I know you're talented at all. You have really worked hard on your bone balancing skills. Uh, but those bones are required elsewhere. Very well, Carfield, let's fight. I don't remember if they looked like quite like that or if they had. If the design was just simpler so I didn't recognize them as cats? They just thought they were bats. Not cats. Certainly not hats. I mean, I must have been a hatter if I thought they were hats. Enjoy playing ball. Oh yes, it's, it is the immortality thing that is for offer here. Nice. How are you doing? I'm so sad. Those pesky lava toads have stolen all my friend's bones. If you help me put them back together again, it'd sure be more fun. Yeah, I'll look into your bones. Because I want him to dance again. He's a good dancer. Excellent. You made it through the Badlands. I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against a dragon. Take this talisman for helping me out. It's a golden bone. If you don't know what to do with the talisman, maybe you could make a nice soup with it. Oh, a bone soup. That's certainly not an idea I've had before. Hello, are you the quartet? You look like a quartet. I think I need, like, stones to mess you up. Also, auto aim is a lot more reliable than I thought. I was just gonna aim it all more, but apparently that's not necessary. Okay, well, we still have bones to find. Did I just get the last cactus as well? Nice. So that's the skill challenges. Done. Oh, I see you over there, you cheeky boy, you. Bam. And now I need to go get that bone. Like soonish. Not exactly immediately. I mean, there's gems here to collect up. And there's. what else? Right, there's the bones to deliver. 
And then there is... Have you seen any lizards around here? With bones? Some bony lizards, if you will. Hey, kid. Because there's a ball here. Is it, is it meant for catching cats, is it? Might be. Cat bats, even. Cat bats with the cat bat club day. Is this invulnerability? Please. Give me the bone. Thank you. I mean, it's... I don't know if it's quite vulnerability, but it certainly allows me to walk through lava, which is... Quite a good ability to have, I think. Oh, hey! It's the bottle! Oh, and now it's over at the entrance to the whole zone that we were in. I'm gonna have to see if we can find the stone, I guess. Or... That also works. There's another one over there. I didn't do terribly well there. But that's fine, I mean... The toads don't charge, luckily for me. I mean, the toads are just uh, confident enough in their own abilities to not uh, charge me for mine. And I respect that. What's in here? Just a couple of gems. Right. I mean, this is just walkable as well, which is fine. I think we're short the bone, <gasps> but we know where the bone is. We did the murder necessary. as a token of my appreciation. A fairy left it with me a little while ago. You're welcome. Have they replaced this soundtrack? Yeah, I think they replaced the soundtrack. I should I should check out what the uh, what his original song was. But I don't think it was that. Also, those bones made him look hella buff, which is not usually what bones do. And it's a bit excessive to for someone to be that big bone, I think. I mean, I have pretty heavy bones, uh, I think. And... I don't think my skeleton looks quite like that. Though, of course, I have never checked. It's kind of difficult to get a proper look at your own bones. And, like, I haven't had any full body x-rays done to me, which is... I think pretty pretty normal to not have full body x-rays have been done to you. But it feels like the more common option. If the alternative is to have been full body x-rayed. They get everything? Excellent. Level complete. Fantastic. So now we shall head back. Of course to what was it? Autumn Plains? And from there we shall head on to... Whichever portal we find next, which I think is Zephyr. So, let's do that.
Wow, did I just hit the bowler next to the door jam? Did I hit the door jam like a big... I don't know. Didn't even tell his family what happened. And in fairness, he was just uh, knocked a bit unconscious by a passing. What was it? Lava lizard? That they called him? Possibly. But yeah, like it wasn't exactly lethal, but it's still a bit rude, I think, to just uh, wander off without alerting anyone and, uh, to the situation. Whose side are we on? Are we fighting for the boobs or the worms? Well, it's the only boat that gets the worm, but I guess the worms are trying to get back. Really? Uh, oh, you're not hitting me from that. That's good. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time and we will see how to get the boats for the worms. Bye-bye.